Hello, good people. Welcome back to another video. I'm Alexia Nicole and I'm living my life by design. This is going to be another chit chat, get ready with me for work tomorrow video, potentially for work tomorrow video. I literally, literally, like I still have on my purse and my jacket and all the things. Just walked back in the house. I've been gone since like noon. It's 7.43. I always get compliments on this little bag, y'all. It's no designer bag. It is literally just a very nice leather, probably handmade bag my mother brought back for me when she went on a cruise um, earlier last year. And literally every, every time somebody sees this little bag, they're always like, oh, I just love it. It's... Cute. So, let's point that out, just in case any of y'all planned on asking. Um, but you know what? I don't really have a lot to talk about. Let me put the jacket down. All right, I had the heat on in the house, so it's really hot in here. So, went ahead and took the sweater off too, so don't mind me. But um, today is Friday, January twenty. Seventh, I start another three day AM reserve block tomorrow, Saturday the 28th. Um, and I looked at the reserve list. I'm trying to find where my apps are like they moved. Okay, yeah. I looked at the reserve list and I am number one for. And why does this thing keep logging me out? It's annoying. I'm number one for three day AM reserves tomorrow. So y'all know what that means. They're gonna call me or they're gonna probably assign me something tonight, which is honestly what I would prefer. Wash my hands so we can get in this kitchen. Um, so as of like 15 minutes ago, they hadn't assigned me anything yet for tomorrow. Um, and there's still nothing assigned yet, so they may not pre-assign it. They may call me at 3 a.m., which I don't want them to do that. I just want them to tell me now, you know, like, what time I have to be at work tomorrow, what tip they're going to give me. That would really help me, like, pack tonight so I know if I need winter clothes or can I bring warm clothes or just whatever. But um, we're going to go in and meal prep. Nothing spectacular, y'all. Um, pretty much. Uh oh, sorry, y'all. I'm going to out of the frame. Nothing spectacular. Pretty much the same stuff that I made the last time y'all saw this type of video. I really liked the um, pasta salad. And I got a different flavor. This is the one I had last time. And it was so good. So I picked up this flavor. This is the sweet basil. Um, and I just threw some shrimp in there. I think I had diced up some like cherry tomatoes um, and some feta cheese. And that was it. I've been kind of off and on sick for the last couple of days. So I bought some Sudafed so I can pop some of this. And this is also really good for just like sinus pressure. So like when you're flying, you know, when your ears are popping and things like that, Sudafed is just really good when you're flying. So I needed to stack up on some of that. And then I'm trying these overnight oats, um, maple brown flavor. It's just, you just add water and stick it in the fridge and go. People always wanna call me when like I start vlogging. Not answering. Um, so I'm gonna try it, just whatever, try that. Um, bought some hummus. This one is a roasted garlic hummus. Last time I just got like plain flavored original hummus. Um, what else? Oh, I bought some Celsius. 
You know, these little energy drinks. Those to take with me. Some lady things in there because we, we's a lady. <laughs> um, what else? I got these little egg bites. not focusing anyways um i've got two different flavors uncured ham and swiss cheese egg bites and egg white and roasted bell pepper egg bites so hopefully whatever they assign me um the hotels will have microwaves in the room and i can literally just pop these in there in the morning and go which I don't know because normally when I wake up that early, I'm not I'm not really like starving for breakfast yet. So that may not get eaten. And then these are the meals that I got. These are all from HEB, y'all. The meal simple meals. This is, and I tried to get like all low carb ones because y'all know we ain't gonna talk about it because we don't want to jinx it, but y'all know. Um, this is crustless cauliflower pizza. Um, 23 grams of protein. It's eight net carbs in here. That's not bad. So y'all know that's kind of keto-ish a little bit, right? Um, I don't really want to do keto again, but that's kind of like the only like diet that I know. Um, this one is Italian style chicken and broccoli. Nine net carbs in this one. 37 grams of protein. I'm really trying to up my protein intake because I've been going going hard at the gym. And, um, you know, I'm trying to do a little something. This one is a beef stir fry, low carb as well. 10 net carbs and um, 28 grams of protein. So, oh, I almost forgot. I got these pretzel crips. <laughs> crips pretzel crisp to go with my hummus so yeah that is the food that we're taking with us tomorrow on the trip that they haven't assigned me yet but I know they're gonna <laughs> I would be a fool not to think that they weren't gonna give me a trip tomorrow and I'm number one on the reserve list so all I really need to do nothing really needs to be meal prepped except for the pasta salad, I do just need to cook that. But I bought this because, you know, my lovely airline, um, we don't have ovens on the plane. There's, we don't have sockets to plug in. Um, dang, I keep forgetting the name of that thing, but that little, that little hot plate thing that you can plug in and warm up your food. I could put it on a coffee maker, but I ain't got time for that to do that so anyways i prefer to have snacks that you know can be eaten cold or a lunch that can be eaten cold that's why i go for the pasta salad it's not necessarily the healthiest option but i enjoy it and it does the trick so i'm gonna eat i'm gonna warm that up i'm gonna put this stuff in the refrigerator so in the morning literally all i have to do is just throw them in my bag and go but 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 we got good news say bye bye to oakland Woo! i don't know why i'm my friend really just bust my bubble has nothing to do with what we're talking about but she just bust my bubble yeah say bye bye to oakland i am now a phoenix based flight attendant which is really exciting. Really, really, really freaking exciting. I believe a class graduated today. Congrats to y'all that just graduated today. They got, I think, four different base options. Don't get me to lying. They got Phoenix, Vegas, BWI, Denver, and Oakland. Maybe five, you know, which is like lovely. Like, why can I have got that my first month? But we are not going to trip on the past we are moving forward so at my airline this is why i'm like talking y'all because i don't be moving and doing what i need to do 
and it's 752 I really need to be in bed by 8 o'clock that's not gonna happen so we're gonna shoot for nine at my airline which is different from the airlines that I previously experienced you know um, you list the bases that we have in order from one to third we have 13 bases so one to 13 and you put your number one base and then you list them in order one to 13 of what you want the most to the least right every month that we do bid vacancies if you are not at your number one base they will every month move you up and up and up and up from your list order until you get to that number one base and once you're in that number one base you stay there of course my list let me look at it so i'm not lying to y'all and tell y'all what it actually is of course houston is my number one option we're not there yet i did email um crew planning the other day to find out where i fell in the list of people waiting to get into houston and they said I was like number 273 out of 500 and something, which honestly didn't make sense to me because I'm like, how am I 273 out of 500 and something? And at the time I was still the most junior class. So I don't know if they were counting the people that are currently in training. Okay. I said I wasn't going to talk on the phone, but I have to answer this. I'll be back y'all. Okay. So yeah, back to my, it's called our vacancy bid right that's what we call it at our airline so my vacancy bid is listed as preference from 1 to 13 houston dallas phoenix las vegas denver austin atlanta oakland orlando fort lauderdale la chicago baltimore <sighs> so i was awarded my third option which is good so now and why did why is Phoenix my third option? I think I already mentioned this. Fawn, y'all know my BFF, uh, my flight attendant BFF, Fawn lives in Phoenix, and she lives like five minutes away from the airport. So by the off chance that I actually do have to go to Phoenix to work, I have somewhere free to stay. <laughs> you know, I really haven't even looked at the commuting portion of it. That was just more so my mindset, like, where can I go where I can just, you know, sleep on somebody's couch and it just be easy? Um, so one, Dallas, because Dallas was, well, one, Houston, because I live in Houston, Texas. I, Alexa Nicole Edwards, live in Houston, Texas. Two, Dallas is right down the road, so that's just easy. It's a, it's a much easier commute. Um, and then three, Phoenix, because of fun. And then I did Vegas, which I don't know why I did Vegas. Vegas really shouldn't even be number four. Um, honestly, anything else on that list, I don't want. <laughs> I really don't want Denver, Vegas. Austin, I would take, but Austin is also a satellite base here. So um, that'll be pretty difficult to get into. It's a small base. It's not a full base, full operational base. It's a satellite base, which means all kinds of things. Um, so that wouldn't work. And BWI in Chicago are literally like in the bottom of my list because I don't want to go nowhere cold. Y'all already know. I did my time in New York. We are done with the windy and the, and the cold, honey. Done with that. So those base um, vacancy bids came out on Wednesday or something. Um, so I was like, okay, that's good. Like, yay. But I still plan on doing the same exact thing that I've been doing with Oakland for the month of January and going into February, selling all of my, um, reserve blocks that I have in Oakland to people that would like to work those shifts. I pay them to take those shifts off of my board and then I pick up shifts in Houston. So I don't have to go to Oakland. Same thing that I plan to do in Phoenix. Get rid of everything that is on my Phoenix board, whether I'm able just to swap and trade them out or if I have to sell them and pick up out of Houston until I actually get into Houston. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. So my actual Phoenix um, base doesn't start until March. February, I'm still technically Oakland based. Um, and then in and then March, I will actually start. So you always find out like a month ahead 
when your base is going to change. So that's pretty much the good news that I have in regards to flight attendant life. Um, the application did open the other day for a small period of time. Literally, like, I think they, I, it was scheduled to be open for four hours. The website always crashes and goes down, which is like, come on, stop playing. Um, so I think it was open from like 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Central time, Texas time. And um, yeah, so still hiring. Lots of training classes. I believe people are getting training dates all the way through the end of February right now. So we'll be seeing an influx of flight attendants now, which is a good thing. But how does how does that actually relate to me getting to the base that I want? It's still like a question that I have because although we just had a lot of flight attendants come in. I guess, uh, let's just say a hundred of them, I don't know. That still doesn't necessarily mean that I'll be able to get into Houston. Like growth is happening within the company, but if there's still no movement really in that base, then it might not be. Um, you know, I didn't even look to see how many people got into Houston. So like I was saying, y'all, like they told me I was number 237 out of, let me look at that email. I. My heart tells me it's wrong, but I mean, they the one that do it. So why am I questioning them? <laughs> right? Like, why would I question what they said? It is what they said. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty people got into the HOU base um for March compared to some of these other bases that have like literally pages long of people getting in. So I don't know. We'll see. I don't really know. I I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So yeah, as of right now, this was this email they sent on a Friday, January 20th. As of January 20th, in flight planning told me as of right now you are number 274 which minus 20 because we just had 20 people so number 254 out of 534 people to get into HOU but I still don't even know how accurate these numbers are anymore because it's been a week um so yeah so if each month only 20 so people are getting into HOU and there's 250 people ahead of me y'all do the math before I calculate the math because my brain ain't working I you know like 250 divided by 20 that's almost a year it could potentially take but also people can always consistently change their bid vacancy so they could go from having Houston as their number one to now not wanting to go to Houston so it Y'all get my point? Like, there's no point in me even really trying to figure out, like, how long it will really take me to get to Houston. But once I'm there, I'm there, and they cannot move me unless I change my number one preference to something else, which I'm not going to say never. You never know. But as of right now, that's, I ain't doing it. What else is there to really talk about, y'all? I'm not really sure. That was really... The only update I wanted to give y'all. Y'all have asked me a few questions um, in the comments. So let me see if I can answer a couple of those for y'all. I feel like I have answered them, just like commented back. But sometimes, you know, everybody doesn't see every comment, of course. Um, and I just, I like to... Um, just let y'all know what people are asking and what we're talking about. One I know off the top of my head is um, I was in the last video, I was talking to y'all about um, me going to the chiropractor and the scoliosis and the back pain and all of that. And somebody asked what about a breast reduction? 
which honey <laughs> Woo Lord take them take them take them take them it's literally how I feel about that but y'all know I do want children I don't know if y'all know but I do want kids and I just kind of feel like not that it would defeat the purpose because clearly you know it wouldn't defeat it but I would prefer to do that after the fact um you know for the health reasons and just to have the girls sitting up um so yeah there was that question so i'm definitely not against the breast reduction but i would probably wait until like i was 40 which ain't that far along kids are no kids um Someone also just asked tonight if during training when, you know, people are asked to leave training or they fell out or whatever, do they bring somebody in? Um, and the answer is no, because you can't miss any portions of training. So they can't just replace you and pop you in um, during that period of time. You would have to start from the beginning of the training process and complete it all the way through. Um it's it's not just like a it's classes start dates and end dates so you always have to start and end with a full class um that's really it y'all i just need to focus on cooking this food thanks for listening to me talk about not much of anything um yeah i'm drawing a blank so as always make sure you subscribe like and share follow me on instagram because you'll get a lot more of me chit-chatting and talking to y'all i like to talk on my stories a lot on instagram so follow me at alexia nicole underscore and yeah see y'all in the next one bye so i was right they assigned me a trip right somewhere in between 8 45 and 9 15 uh, my report time is until 7.45 a.m., so that is wonderful. At least I can sleep in and more than likely just naturally wake up and not have to wake up to alarm, but I'm going to set the alarm anyway. Um, Three-day trip, two legs the first day, then four and four, which is not my favorite, but I'll survive. All right, y'all. Bye.